Hello viewers, welcome to this video. I'm Venkat and this is Just Me, an open source channel. In this video, let's see how to host a simple website uh, using Amazon S3, S3 bucket, right? So don't worry about the easy to instance uh, Lambda or Elastic Beanstalk or anything else, Load Balancer or anything. So all you need is an AWS S3 bucket, that's it. And you're gonna put your files in the S3 bucket and there you go so you've got your website ready running and it's a very quick way but you got to bear in mind that it will work only for static websites so if you've got a static website that doesn't rely on any server-side scripting um, then it's an easiest solution okay so let's get that started i'm going to log into my aws management console to create an amazon s3 bucket to store my um, html files uh, but why don't we create a bucket from the command line instead? So let's use AWS CLI to create uh, an S3 bucket, right? So let's try it this way. So for that, you need to have your AWS CLI um, set up and configured. I've done a separate video on how to install AWS CLI using Python pip, and then how to configure it with your secret key, access key ID, and um, everything, all right? so. Please follow that video if you want to use AWS CLI to create the bucket. So it's easy to uh, create it uh, in both ways in AWS Management Console as well as in the AWS CLI. I personally prefer AWS CLI to create and interact with the buckets. For example, if you want to upload a file, it's easy. It's just a copy command AWS S3 copy. Uh, the file, especially when it comes to the S3 servers, uh, it's always easy for me to use the AWS CLI instead of going into the AWS Management Console. All right, so let's um, create our bucket. AWS S3 help is there if you want. So we have uh, the help files. So MB is for uh, make bucket, RB is for removing a bucket. We will see how to make and remove the bucket. ELS is for uh, showing, listing all the buckets you've got. Okay, let's check what buckets we've got. AWS S3 LS. That's empty because we haven't got any bucket. Okay, let's create a new bucket. AWS S3 make bucket. And I'm going to give it a name. My website demo dash bucket 2019. All right. So you need to prefix the bucket name with S3 colon and double slash. That's the S3 protocol, similar to HTTP uh, protocol. So you're gonna use S3 protocol and your bucket name. So all you need is uh, a unique bucket name, that's it. Okay, so that's done. So now if I do AWS S3 LS, we have my website demo bucket 2019, that's good. And on the management console, if I go to S3, you will see my bucket created, okay? And I'm gonna to switch to my management console to do some extra configurations on the bucket that I just created uh, to make it uh, host a static website, okay? So let me click on that bucket. So in the bucket, I'm going to create a bucket policy permissions and go to bucket policy. Basically what I'm trying to do here is whatever files I put in my, on this bucket, it needs to be accessible. For example, any HTML files or PHP files you put in this bucket, um, anybody outside the world, anybody outside the AWS, anybody from anywhere on the internet should be able to read those files. So for that, we are going to create a bucket policy, giving them read access to whatever objects we are going to place in this S3 bucket, all right? Okay, so bucket policy, and you can write your policy directly, or we can get the help from the policy generator. So that is going to open up a new tab like it did now, and select the type of policy. So we are going to create a policy for S3 bucket. So S3 bucket policy, add statement. You can add multiple statements, but all we need is just one statement. And the effect is allow, principle is asterisk, star, which means anyone. AWS service is Amazon S3, that's auto-selected. Actions, so I don't want any of these actions. I just, I'm only interested in get object, so which is essentially uh, read permission. Get object, ARN, so this is for the S3 bucket. The policy that we are creating is for the S3 bucket. 
but which specific resource you want you can put a star here that will give access read access to all the buckets in your s3 sorry all the s3 buckets in your aws account but we don't want that we specifically want the bucket that we just created uh, for this policy so i'm going to go back to that bucket and here is the arn that we need to copy and paste it here and at the end slash star so that's the one that's very important slash star so that bucket and underneath that bucket any object underneath that bucket will have to have this policy all right so add statement so we have our statement ready and click on generate policy cool so that's the policy that we are going to copy copy and paste it here and then click save okay so this bucket has public access and now we can see the orange uh, highlight here says this bucket is a public bucket permission is public so that's a little warning saying uh, this is really public and open to anyone so be sensitive in putting any information in this bucket because anyone can read uh, this bucket although they can't modify it but they will be able to access and read any files you place in this directory so that's done we don't want this policy generator anymore and the next thing we got to do is go to properties and we need to enable static website hosting so here static website hosting i'm going to click on that one and so that's the endpoint so that's the url that we are going to access uh, for our website so use this bucket to host a website so that's the one i'm going to select index document if you don't specify anything it's going to give you an error when you uh visit this url this endpoint unless you specify any particular index document it can be index.htm index.html index.php or anything index.html okay so error document i'm going to say error.html if you want uh, a customized error document to be shown to your users when they uh, try to access a site that is not available access a path inside your website that is not available you want to show them a custom error message so that's where you define the error html and if you want any redirection rule say for example if they go to this url followed by a particular path and whenever they visit that path you want an automatic redirection to a different path then you can put your redirection rules here so that's optional okay so and click on save so that's good static website hosting i'm going to click that again to see the endpoint url and if i click that now because the bucket is completely empty now you will see a 404 not found page so because it's looking for index.html and we don't have any index.html all right okay so what should we do now let's copy the index let's create an index.html file and upload it to e to s3 and see if we can access it okay so echo let's create uh, an index.html file hatch one just me and open source slash hatch one i'm gonna pipe that to redirect that to index.html okay so we have our index.html file right and i'm also going to create an error.html echo um it's going to be a customized error document h1 it's a simple error document nothing special i'm going to say error this page doesn't exist something like that and redirect that to error dot html okay so we have these two files we need to copy these two files to our s3 bucket and let's do that aws s3 copy index.html to s3 colon and our bucket name my website demo slash bucket 2019 so that's our bucket name and what file as what file you want to copy that again same index.html okay so that's done aws s3 ls so we have one bucket aws s3 ls s3 
and the bucket name it's going to show us what file we have we have one index.html file and similarly let's copy error.html file as well error.html and also here copy the local error.html to uh, the bucket okay no, so now if I do ls you can see we have two files index.html and error.html so now if I go uh, to my uh, endpoint address there you go so that's our index.html just me an open source and for example if I type in a path that doesn't exist uh, slash uh, testing or something okay so that's our customized error document error this page doesn't exist so that's the error page that we created and whenever you access a path that doesn't exist uh, the user will be shown our customized error.html okay so what if you want to create a directory underneath so under every directory you need to have an index.html file uh, for example we have these two files on the top level directory our top level bucket and let's create another directory called hello and let's echo something to hello as well h1 slash h1 and then let's say this is inside hello directory okay and redirect that to hello index.html okay so now we have at the top level we have error.html index.html and we have index.html inside the hello directory so when we browse to hello uh, and it should show us this index.html page okay so now we need to copy that to s3 let's do that aws s3 copy hello s3 colon our bucket name is my website demo slash bucket 2019 slash the directory is hello because we are copying the directory we need to pass minus minus recursive option so it copies everything under the uh, hello directory to the S3 bucket, all right? So now if I go back, so that's our top level directory. And at the end of this URL, if I say hello, so now you can see this is inside the hello directory. And if I go to something that doesn't exist, it's gonna show us the customized error page. Error, this page doesn't exist. Okay, so that's how you normally create your static website using Amazon AWS S3. All right, so now let's go ahead and delete the uh, bucket that we created, Amazon S3. So it's not going to let us delete if the bucket has some contents in it. I think, let's see, AWS S3 remove bucket. So RB is the remove bucket, S3 colon and the bucket name website demo slash bucket 2019 and it fails because it says the bucket you tried to delete is not empty so you won't be able to delete it but there is an option to force it so if you do force it it will delete all the bucket all the contents and the bucket itself okay so now if i refresh it you shouldn't be seeing anything okay so all of our buckets are gone all right, cool. So that's it. I wanted to show you in this video. If you've got any questions or any issues, or if you've got any cool ideas around uh, hosting a static website, or if you've got any experience using uh, S3 for static website hosting, uh, please share it in the comments so that other viewers can be uh, can find it really useful as well. All right. So I will see you all in my uh, next exciting AWS video. And if you like this video, don't forget to share it with your friends. Sharing is caring and make sure to subscribe to my channel. All right. Thanks for your time watching this video. Bye-bye.